you doing, Chris Long? What you doing? Walter Payton, man of the year, two-time Super Bowl champion, in my opinion, a Hall of Fame resume, just off the strength alone of what you've done. Just off the strength alone of your daddy's good name and the things you've achieved as well. You was going to get into the Hall of Fame. You were going in there. Listen, man, a lot of people not as fortunate. Let me back up. Lil Bresson back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, you do not never Nikki Barnes your situation. Don't ever do that. And that's what Chris Long just did. Basically, what he did was say, aha, I didn't get caught. And now I'm going to say what I was doing the whole time. I'm going to give you two uh, point of views on um, this Chris Long situation because I have actually I have I'm in a rare position that a lot of people aren't in. I know corporate America and I know the streets of America. So I'm going to give you both sides of this. Now, I gave you the street side is you never Nikki Barnes situation, because now when you do something like that, it then makes them look at everybody else because you never know what some some of these people might actually need marijuana for healing purposes. So now it makes them look at everybody else. Now I'm going to talk about the corporate side of this. A lot of people are targeted as well because they don't look like Chris Long. Eric, Eric Reed finally got him a job with the Panthers. Um, he'd been with the team for six weeks and he had 10 drug tests. He was targeted. Targeted. Now I've been targeted for drug tests based upon how I look. So I know when somebody's being targeted. I was targeted in the military for all type of surprise your analysis. But you know what? I'm drug free. I'm drug free. Sad. Sad. I hate to say this, but I just I, I just caught um, um, a little glimpse of Mark Holmes video before I um, was about to make this video. They got to look into um, thinking about reinstating Randy Gregory, man. I mean. It's obvious that Randy Gregory was targeted, but well, not really. You can't really look into reinstating Randy Gregory because they had reason to target Randy Gregory. He's a repeat offender. You know what I mean? Just like, um, just like Josh Gordon was a repeat offender. So of course, it probably was some stipulations to where, hey, we're gonna make sure you're doing and staying on your correct path for this amount of games, and then we go hit you with another one. So you know, re re repeat offenders. Uh, you can't really excuse repeat offenders. So I gotta disagree right there, but. You talking about bringing the heat down on a lot of people now? This guy who we all thought was squeaky clean. Now, no, no, mind you, I am no in no in no way, shape, form, or fashion against the use of marijuana. I believe it's a great thing for healing. I, I just think it's just a peaceful drug. You know, it's a natural drug. Until these kids start doing all this other crazy stuff with it, but at the same time, you gotta understand that they're gonna crack down on it like never before. You have a man of this. Then Chris Long was looked at as he was looked at in a Tom Brady light, a, a can't do nothing wrong type of light. And then on the way out, when he announces his retirement, I've been getting I've been getting zooted right under your nose and you never knew nothing about it. Aha. And I got the man of the year award. And you always talk about how great I am. And you always talk about all the great things I did. Now, there's two ways to look at this. It's just idiotic on his behalf, which I think it is. And another way is to look at it is, did it really affect his play on the field? No. So he proved a lot of things. He proved a lot of things by doing this, is what, which is why I'm not totally against it. He proved that you have a systematic targeting for certain individuals who look a certain way when it comes to marijuana use in the testing, obviously. And he proved that it doesn't affect your game. So you get you get you get a negative and a positive out of it, but um, it's just crazy, man. Now let's get on to well, the other thing I was about to talk about. I understand why the Philadelphia Eagles are as high on Miles Sanders as they are. I get it, but this is what we got to keep in mind: Miles Sanders is still a rookie. He has not had a snap in a professional football league, so we cannot come in and expect Miles Sanders to just from day one be the guy. We can't expect him to be the second best receiver on the roster from day one. In my opinion, Corey Clement is the second best receiver until I see something else. I've seen what a healthy Corey Clement could do. I've seen it. Lead the team, lead, lead the team in receiving yards in the Super Bowls with that healthy Corey Clement could do. I haven't seen this stuff that everybody's ranting and raving about Miles Sanders, so I'm going to reserve my judgment until I see something on the field from Miles Sanders. I can't even properly grade Miles Sanders. I can't give you a proper grade based off what you did playing against teenagers. You're about to have grown men who've been training 
for these Sundays for years chasing you now. You about to have people on the defensive line whose strength is just totally outmatched. I'm trying to tell you right now, a starting defensive tackle who's been starting for a team for the last five years is better than the number one defensive tackle coming out of college by far, by far. By far. And this defensive tackle who is now starting could have been drafted in the fifth round. And he's better than the first defensive tackle coming out next year. It's the experience. It's the strength. It's the speed of the game. That stuff take like a half a year for a rookie running back to even to even process. I'm sorry. You got some special ones where you get like Corey Clement, I, I believe, had a special rookie season. Um, Alva Kamara had a really good rookie season. Zeke, Zeke had been having a good season since he got in. You get some special ones like that, but you can't just be anointing anybody special from the running back position. I saw something absolutely that was blasphemous, in my opinion, from uh, Pro Football Focus. They did a list where um, they did the top running backs, I think, under 20, under 24. The top three running backs under 24, they had Saquon Barkley, they had Alvin Kamara, and oh, I'm drawing a blank. Who was the third one? It was and Kareem Hunt. Now, you tell me how that makes sense. For the top three running backs under 25 to be Saquon Barkley, Alvin Kamara, and Kareem Hunt. Ain't Zeke like 23? I don't need, how old is how old is Todd Gurley? You see, you, you see, it's stuff like that. While I lose um, faith in uh, pro football focus, they're quick to anoint anoint these guys, and you can't really even anoint Saquon Barkley yet off of one season. I can understand. I can see where he may be going. I can see him getting better, but this is the thing with Saquon Barkley. They're going to be game planning for Saquon Barkley. You have no Odell Beckham Jr. cushion anymore. You don't have that anymore. You don't have that anymore. It's eight in the box, and let's see what Bum Eli could do. Golden Tate don't scare nobody, sorry to say. He showed us that when he was the Eagle last year. But you know what I mean? I'm, I am just highly disappointed in Chris Long. To get back to the, the main point of the video, uh, I'm highly disappointed in Chris Long. I just think that, you know, I think what he, basically what he did was a, was a big screw you to the NFL on his way out. And he did like a lot of, um, did like a lot of snitching on his buddies that are still in the fight. You know what I mean? Some of these guys, like I said, may need cannabis to cope with other stuff. You know what I mean? They give it to vets for PTSD. You know what I mean? And uh, sad, sad. You, you, you know, you know, retired, went out on top. Walter Payton man of the year. And then you do this. I mean, they're not going to take the award back. But come on, bro. That's just tell me what y'all think in the comments. Man, I'm just disappointed, man. I had a whole nother video. And then you go ahead and do this, Chris Long. You justifiably give the Cowboys room to now say we should. Um, yeah, <laughs> whatever.